really cool new program. Now, in the past, I've used an Excel sheet that, uh, you know, was created by, I think, the 6.5 guys. And it's been, a, it's been a great spreadsheet. But then I got turned on to this really custom type of um, program. And it's available for Mac and PC. And I really love it. So instead of having to manual enter data, it actually will grab your data off of your lab radar or your magneto speed uh, data card. So let me just show you a quick thing here. And there are some other options. I'll do another video. If you look up here, you'll see there's a seeding depth tab. I'm going to do a complete other video on that one here. And I'll just show you real quick. I'll put a link to this um, so that you guys can download it. Really nice guy, really responsive. I've worked with him. This is actually the second version. Um, I've had it since the first, and he's very responsive to some changes that myself and some other people have asked for. So here's what we're looking at. We can select lab radar or magneto speed. Now, I'm obviously going to choose lab radar, and that's going to bring this up. Now, I'm going to choose my disk, and we're going to open it. And it says detected uh, lab radar data using the volume, and I'm going to say OK. Now, these are my strings from my powder test today. And uh, one of the features you can do is you can enter your charge weight. In fact, it won't even graph until you put your charge weight in, but I want it to go ahead and autofill my charge weight. And I happen to know that I started at 50.3 and I did intervals of 10th of a grain. So if you look at that, boom, 50.456789 and then up to 51.2. And it'll show you your rough data right here. So how many shots? Now, I, it was not a great day for testing. I had a couple shots. I forgot to turn on the lab radar here, and I forgot to turn on the lab radar here. So uh, yeah, I'm an idiot for that one. But uh, we'll see how the data looks. This is the first time I've seen it. Now, you can choose different things, ES, SD. I don't care about SD. So I want to show the ES. I want to show the velocity, and I want to show the velocity deltas. And that's important to me. I'll show you here in a second. So let's show the graph. All right, so look at that. Now, this is just like any other plotted graph for velocity spreads. You'll see some increases, you'll, you'll see some flat spots, and then you'll see some more increases. And uh, you've got your velocity on the left, you've got your powder charge on the bottom. Here is your extreme spread. Here is your average velocity. These are the actual plots for the velocity. And then you have your delta. And the, the nice thing is you can go right along here. And instead of having to look manually at a chart, this tells you right here, OK, we had very little increase, no increase, very little increase, really stable flat spot right here. And then you can see it grows up here. There's a little bit of a flat spot up here right around 2810, uh, it looks like. But you'll see there's a drop below and a drop above. So a lot of really good um, data to look at without having to flip back and forth between things. So, you know, again, there's a lot of uses for this. I've actually done tuner test plotting. I've done seeding depth plotting. I've done a lot of really neat things with it that has really helped improve my reloading even above the previous chart that I was using. So if you're looking for a new way to uh, plot your data to see what it's doing, Take a look at Chrono, um, uh, at Chrono Plotter here. Again, I'll put the link down below so that you guys can find it. Uh, you know, I don't get paid or get anything off of, um, you know, referring you guys to this. It's just a program that I really enjoy using, and I'm sure you're going to see me use it in a bunch more videos coming up. So talk to you guys later. Have a good one.